Hi, I'm personal stylist and style expert, Noelle Cellini, and welcome to my closet. In this episode, I'm going to show you what is in my handbag. And at the end, we're gonna talk a little bit about this handbag. So this is a crossbody bag from Furla. And in here, even though it's small, it is mighty. I have fit quite a bit in here. The first thing I have is my um, lipstick, but actually kind of more like a lip pencil, meaning that it's gonna be more matte, like what I have on right now. And I like a matte lipstick because that's a little bit more modern than something super shiny and glossy. And what I have on now is aubergine and it's from Bite Beauty, which means that you can actually take a bite out of it, so it's safe if you, you know, are ingesting it when you're eating and drinking and all that kind of stuff. Um, I also have in here a little Kleenex holder or tissue holder that some a friend gave to me for one of my, my birthday one year, and somebody made a comment about this the other day, and I was like, oh yeah, it's a little holder that makes my travel tissues at least a little more stylish, so to speak. So when I'm out, I just replace it or I can take it off and throw it in the wash. So this is a fun little kind of accessory to have to make the insides of your handbag ever so, you know, more presentable. I have keys, of course, and I really pared down my keys this year got rid of the ones that I really don't use often. My phone, who can't live without their phone, right? I always carry some lavender essential oil, usually organic, because this is nature's antibacterial hand wipes. So if I don't have time to wash my hands or you know, I'm out, I can just um, dab a little bit of this on my fingers and it will, like I said, it's nature's antibacterial hand wipes without any of the harsh alcohol that you get with other stuff. And then let's see. I do always have a little um, kind of travel mirror. This one is in the shape of a horse. I used to do actually a lot of riding when I was little. And this one cracked, but so I'm looking for a replacement, but I do love a little travel mirror with some style, not just, you know, some freebie that you got. Those are fine, but this is a little more fun. I got this at Nordstrom's a couple years ago. Unfortunately, I don't know the brand. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Of course I have a pen. I have just, you know, my credit cards and um, some cash in here. And then the last beauty thing I have is RMS Beauty, another very safe, you know, non-toxic brand. Um, this is a cover-up, but I also use their eyelash and stuff. They have a lot of great aluminizers. So if you're looking for a good brand, this is, I know, uh, you know, kind of um, green bloggers, beauty bloggers. This is one of their favorites as mine as well. And then lastly, I have um, a business card holder that a friend gave to me when I first started my business many years ago. And it is actually, if you can see, it used to hold cigarettes. So I always carry and travel with this. And this bag that I told you we'd talk about at the end is the Furla Metropolis bag, and it comes in a ton of different colors. So I love it in light mint. Um, it comes in, you know, all black, fuchsia, whatever you want. But mine is a little more unique because I can actually change out this top piece and kind of personalize it to either what I'm wearing or how I'm feeling that day. So I bought the bottom of the bag in black and then this is my pop of color. And then when I want something which looks good with what I have on, right? But then when I need something in a neutral, I chose this other top. So I only have two tops. The other one is this. So this one then I just snap on on the back and oops, I can change the look instantly. So the idea behind this, and like I said, this one is my neutral because as we know, metallics are neutral. Other things that are neutral would be something like an animal print as well. So, you know, leopard or zebra. And then this 
is my pop of color. And that's pretty much, for me, that's all I need. I'm not really looking to get another lid for this, like another color or, um, you know, another texture. I really just like having the two. It doesn't overwhelm me with choices. So use this idea when either you're searching for a handbag or you're searching for, you know, a pair of shoes or you have a skirt or something. If you already have a skirt in a color, then you know you need a neutral shoe to wear with it. Or if you already have neutral shoes in your wardrobe, then maybe it's time to add something in a pop of color. And once again, when you're doing a color, try to avoid a color that you already have or wear a lot of. So I like fuchsia, I'm probably not gonna get a fuchsia bag because it would be too matchy-matchy. Whereas this kind of yellowish green, I, I can't really wear it up by my face, so I don't have a lot of things in this color. It works really well with my wardrobe. So that's it for this episode. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, let me know your style questions in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them in the next episode. Thanks for watching.